Okay, hi, um, I just came out from the hairdressers and basically this is how I make my friend stay this way so she cut it but I like the st style to be more like this um, so I just did that, I just wet it, put these clips in to form the shape I wanted it to be and my hair was cut quite a lot but in layers which is good because it gets in my way a lot and right now we're just getting ready to get to the beach um, yes, yeah, so I'm currently reading Conversations with Friends. I've actually read quite a lot. I've read that much in three days, which is a lot for me. See you at the beach. Okay, I just uploaded my first video ever onto my channel. Um, really nervous about it. Okay, yeah. So, it's very nerve wracking because I've never done anything like that. I've never actually talked about myself online really. I've always kind of done things with other things. Like I did like study accounts. I had a slime account, like a lot of us did. Um, I also had, I have loads of things. I had a dark academia one. Those were those clips from the beach. And I also got hair cut. My friend is a little bit shorter than I would like it to be. Um, but that doesn't really matter because fringes, they, you know, come out free easily i'm gonna trim the sides a bit because i watch a video on that because a lot of the time if you look when i do uh something with my hair it's a, like always a quite a distinct gap you can't see as much i think it's because of the way she cut it to be honest but it's usually like that it's more around like this which isn't really what i want so i'm gonna cut that and i need to pack my suitcase for tomorrow um and i'll also be showing you that so at the beach we just i sat down and read conversations with friends i'm on chapter 14 now and you can also look at my goodreads if you're interested in that in that i have i don't read that much but i'm really wanting to get into it a lot more which i am um i've read a lot more in the last few days than i have in a long time so yeah um i'm still kind of getting used to filming like in general like in front of people and things but hopefully it's gonna get be better and i also i'm going to link my if it's not on this video it's on the last video i'm going to link my study youtube and then it's the same name for tiktok and instagram so you can look at that too if you want um yeah so if any of you are here from the first video or if you're not if you're not i recommend if you want to learn more about long covid and my experience with it to watch the first video i've uploaded i'm gonna try and be showing you clips from my day and kind of do stuff like that um and do sit down videos or just anything that you request at all because that's all good by me um yeah so now i'm gonna pack my suitcase um and probably rest a bit too because although after coming back to the beach i did have some time to rest it was like making the thumbnail editing and posting the video and then eating so that's what i'm gonna be doing i'm currently wearing a top from you look six years ago and some random pajama top bottoms and god <laughs> time to make the suitcase this is a very small suitcase my actual suitcase is big enough to be a different one but this is like my skincare and stuff so this is my moisturizer this is the Aveeno calm and restore nourishing oat cleanser which works really well for my eczema and an inhaler <laughs> these are all the liquids i'm bringing i'm not going to an airport but like just in case something explodes but like sure make sure it's not gonna spill like my nice things okay so i also have like a medicine bag um it's not actually technically one i just saw i was like that could do this and so it's from a shop called sostren Grem. it's danish but i'm saying in a french accent i will put the name up because i love that place and i would definitely recommend it this was 70 percent off it was four euros in total um so yeah it's a bag with lots of little compartments so i kind of put all my medicine in them i'm kind of thinking for university it would really help just to have something like i can just store everything in because obviously i have a very big room and i don't want to lose anything so i just thought this would good be good including like adding 
other medicines such as like paracetamol but this is what I'm using right now it's convenient because when I'm needling it I can just pick it out but I can also put other things in here so yeah okay so just packed my suitcase and actually it was completely like overriding with things but it was fine in the end so it's currently almost 11 o'clock and I'm gonna do a little bit of meditation slash yoga before I go to bed um yeah so I'm basically ready and I'm just gonna show you the bag that I kind of use for every day to see it's a neat clip is it me it's a me bag I'm not really sure I just got the, the new one with the kind of like waterproof thing and it's in like the cream colour and I'm you can put books and stuff in it as well it fits so this is good because it's very handy but also kind of can kind of you can put things in different sizes in it when sometimes the bag is kind of restricted to a certain shape this one isn't so you can put more things in it I thought this was really funny and it was absolutely massive and this is just us on our way to the first hotel in Clermont-Ferrand which I'll write in the captions and right after this we went to Volvic we just drove around a bit and that was a cool castle this lighting is very good so I didn't really film much today we were just in the car for about 7 hours got here 8, that's it I'm going to skip sleep soon but I will be filming tomorrow so we just left the hotel and this is Rion um, it looks really lovely from this angle and we're just on our way to the Puy de Dorme, which you can see there the countryside around was so pretty, so I took loads of videos. This is the base of the Puy de where the train is. This was the train ride up to the top. We took the train up because I have long COVID, so obviously can't hike up. And then we got off the train, and that was the top. Simple. Ça s'appelle comment Ici Oui, c'est Ouais, c'est quoi encore Puy de Dôme. We are at Puy de Dôme. Loads of people. What was parapente in English Parapente, no, it's not paragliding. It's a kick shift, it's not a parapente. Regarde. Elle a mangé. Quoi, vous êtes. Regarde. Loads of like hills over here, and then there's loads of woods around here as well. And it gets flat for ages, you can see this hours away. It's like this. We took the train up because I can't hike. Even the flowers are really nice. Is not. There's another one over there. I think it's the sheep because there's lots of sheep over there. Uh, uh, where are the sheep? These are all little voca volcanoes. There's like 80. How far they go? Borvik is up here as well. Ça va loin. You can't even see the end. It kind of just looks like clouds and the sky at the end. But this looks really nice. I would like to lie down in one of these fields. We went to the other side and I didn't feel very well so we came back here because there's a lot more shade and things and all this sandwich. And all of this it goes very far. There's lots of little hills. And we're about to leave now, so we're going here. <laughs> So we got to the hotel for Saint Etienne. I don't know if you can even hear me, um, but the road was blocked. So I'm in here waiting because we can't actually park here. So I have to wait here um, until my mum and my brother come back to get to the hotel and then bring out all our stuff. And then my mum's going to have to move a car. But yeah, we arrived. Um, 
we didn't really do much after the pre de dum we kind of just we drove around a bit and then realized we were really tired so just came here yeah okay we just got some bubble tea and we ate lunch earlier my brother's laughing at me i got this tiger one we are now taking the tram and we got some bubble tea and we're going to go back and we also bought some pastries and i'll show you those okay hello it is oh my gosh, i haven't really been telling you the day or the dates because i don't know it's currently the 12th of august and it's a saturday we went into the city centre, which there isn't really much to do. We walked around a little bit, got lunch, went to pâtisserie, and because I, I wanted to get a tart to eat later, and then we went and got some bubble tea. This has been in the fridge, and I'm drinking it now while watching Jack Edwards' new video. And my family have just gone off to Lidl, um, or Audi, I can't remember to buy some food for dinner because I actually go into a rugby match tonight which I was supposed to go to but I can't because of long covid um and also can't go shopping because of long covid because I'm so tired because there are trams here and basically the one of the tram lines was is like being repaired or something and there's a bus instead and so we got to the point where it's being repaired and then we were kept looking for trams and we didn't really know that that bit was under construction so we walked like 20 minutes back here quite quickly and we'd already been walking around for hours not hours but like we were kind of walking around like randomly for like probably an hour an hour and a half and i was so exhausted already um i get to stay here by myself for like three or four hours maybe i'm not 100 percent sure but they are walking so it's going to take like 40 minutes for them to walk and then there's the match and there's the time after the match and blah blah blah. So my plan was, I'm going to have a shower, which is going to be quite exhausting, but I can kind of take my time. I might play a little bit of music, go in like a hotel apartment thing, but um, I won't play it very loudly, don't worry. But I need to do that and then I can kind of, I can just lie and watch a film. I was thinking of watching a film while eating my tart because I'm going to eat my tart when they leave so I'm just sat there eating my tart and probably watch some videos all by myself and then film because I don't really like to film when people are around because I feel kind of shy I've kind of been getting used to it though because like in reality when you're in a public place like taking pictures or whatever you can kind of just pretend you're talking to the person next to you because I don't have a camera I just have my phone so yeah there we go and I would really really love to like be more confident in doing this because I have almost no confidence, especially going to university and things like that, if that even happens. Because results day is, it's currently Saturday and results day is on Thursday and I keep getting emails about it from like universities and UCAS and it's really stressing me out and I hate it so much. Just for confidence, I feel like also just talking to a camera, it's kind of like talking to yourself. I've always kind of talked to myself to be honest. Um, I feel like it really helps me get through my thoughts a lot easier and kind of understand how I feel. And I'm just in a bed right now watching Jack Edwards, which I already said. Um, I need to finish watching Crazy Stupid Love, which I might put on now um, because there's a TV in my. Oh, my camera's running. Um, yeah. And I think while they're going to the rugby match, I'm probably going to read. I'm really hooked on it right now. Um,. Let me, let me show you what page I'm on. I just got into part two. And I'm, I had to finish my random page because we had to just leave this morning. So I'm on 178. So this is after they go to Brittany. Which is really cool actually because in the series they didn't go to Brittany. And I'm from Brittany. So I find it really cool that I've just like never seen it in a piece of media really. Um, so I thought that was really cool. These sandwiches are the Okay, I'm now home alone and I'm gonna be for four hours and I'm kinda of scared right now. Um I'm not gonna have a shower quite yet because I'm really tired and I just have been eating. Um so I'm gonna probably digest that a little bit and I have a green tea to kind of help that go down. Time to make myself a green tea. The mugs here are really weird because like they don't have a normal handle at all, like they have it's like this, but when it's boiling hot it's hard to touch, so you have to wait till it cools down. I really need to get tripod, but I will be ordering that. It's I have them, but it broke, and they're not very expensive anyway. So yes, um, I actually just sat in my bed for about forty minutes, and then I thought, okay, what's going to motivate me filming? 
so that's what I'm doing. Um, and then I had a bit of a freak out about university stuff because I keep getting emails from universities talking about clearing and stuff and then I get stressed about what I need and then I don't even know if I can go to university and I don't know if I, like, if I'm going to get help before I go to university because I don't know if a doctor's going to just look at me and be like, you can't go to university right now, you're not in a good enough state, you know? It's just really nerve-wracking and I'm also someone who really likes to be organised and I've been, like, looking at uni stuff since I was about 13 being like, I want to bring this bag to uni, I want to do this at uni I've been watching these, like, vlogs and reading books on university since I was like I said 12 13 so it's very nerve-wracking because it's in like um six weeks now I would go um and I don't feel very organized <laughs> I have actually bought a lot of things like tea towels I have plates um just like random stuff and I can show you I'm definitely gonna show you um because that's like a classic video I really want to buy some clothes now I mostly use vintage clothes just because it's a lot cheaper and it's also just better the environment just I just feel a bit better when I do it um so I've been on there a lot lately and they're probably too much to be honest but you can find a lot more variety like I have more of like a, a classic style I would say so finding like really specific things I want is a lot easier on places like Vinted or Depop which is very expensive now um and I can find like you know like Levi jeans for example they're like 110, 120 pounds. If you just find out what size you are, you can get them for like 20 pounds on Vinted. Like, and also I'm stressing out things like textbooks because I just don't really know how to work that much. Like I do kind of. A lot of the things I watched were for Oxford and Cambridge and I know it works differently. And I'm also doing a joint degree. Um, so I'm really nervous about that. And I'm supposed to be doing some work over the summer, including doing maths work and French grammar. Because um, I don't do ma I didn't do maths A level, so I'm gonna have to take maths classes for economics. I wouldn't be caught up on that, so I'm quite nervous in that way. But I just couldn't really spend my time doing that because it honestly just I felt really bad. I felt really ill. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what's gonna happen next year. If I get the results and I can't go, I don't really know what I'm gonna do because being by myself at home, like just in the day, made me go crazy in like three days. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. The thing is also that I feel like very mentally ready for university. Like I've been waiting for it for a long time and I just feel like it's the next step. Like to do with completely me but being ill and things I haven't been able to do because I'm ill make me feel like I'm not prepared. So it's quite hard because like there are two halves of me. Me being ill and how it impacted my life. Like I can do as much work for example um, and me just me. And so one part isn't ready the other is ready so it's kind of it's a hard decision i really think i hope i don't have to make the decision by myself and that i get referred for everything i need to before so i can get people to actually help me make that decision i guess but yeah we'll see but i need to make my tea now okay hi um i just had a shower so as you can see by my finger just looking into the camera to look at my foot but yeah i just had a shower it took me over an hour and a half to have a shower um but not to actually be in a shower but like i was supposed to take a shower before then um but i didn't but it's actually a lot nice when you have short hair because i'm not really have to dry this as much like i'm gonna wait for my french to set but yeah i watched i'm, I'm still watching i'm gonna set it up with the light so that it flatters so i started watching crazy stupid love a few i think it's called crazy stupid love a few days ago and um i'm finishing it now in the last 10 minutes and i might watch a different film because i have enough time to basically watch a film and then if I don't finish it, I can just like watch it when my family's already here. So it's time to eat. I'm gonna get some orange juice, some potato salad, and then my tart. So no, I'm gonna show you. I very much want to give off kind of like someone who has their own house who just like eats stupid meals in their bed sometimes. So I have this. I only like orange juice with the bits in it. Um, I just don't like it without bits. I'm actually not too tired. I thought I'd wait a bit of time to have my shower, but actually I probably didn't need to. Um, but we're leaving tomorrow morning. I'm probably waking up very early. Um, so I'm just taking this time to rest. Um, I don't actually know when the rugby match started, but I'm pretty sure it was at like 9.30 and it's literally 9.40 right now. Um, and they said they'd be here the earliest, 11. So I have at least an hour and 20 minutes. But they're like really the earliest stuff, so 
are lovely. I don't really watch films very often, so I think it'd be good to watch them. Um, and then this is called Piemontes uh, Jambon. I said that in a really weird French accent. Piemont oh my gosh. Piemontes, Piemontes au Jambon, um, which is like this potato salad with ham in it. It's a very nice potato salad. Um, I'm going to have some of this because I really like it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to watch something now. I don't know what, but um, we'll just see. I'm crazy stupid love. I remember when I first saw Netflix when I was 12, I put that on my list. And so that's been six years since it's been on my list. So I might watch something else that I've been, I've had on my list for a long time. Or, you know, it's the summer. Whatever. Um... Unfortunately, spending a lot of the first um, like hour just on my phone alone, not taking a shower, doing other things. So, but whatever. I try to feel less guilty because I always want to be perfect. We've also got some crisps I can have, and madeleine, and toast, which I'm not actually that hungry, but I'm trying to eat as much as I can just because <sighs> I'm going to be hungry later, and I know that because we ate dinner really early. Like we, I had a tiny breakfast, a relatively small lunch, and then I had a bubble tea, but that doesn't fill you up that much, and then I had a sandwich for dinner, so I know I'm going to be hungry later, so I'm just going to eat now because I don't want to be eating at 11 o'clock, but yeah. Chin chin. I don't really watch rom-coms, but I, I chose two rom-coms to watch, um, so after Crazy Stupid Love, I'm watching Bridget Jones's Diary, which I've watched once before. Um, but I'm not really 100% sure on that choice, but honestly nothing really else appealed to me. So, now we are getting my food. My other food. More food. Let me show you. It does not look very good because it kind of smashed in the box. But that doesn't really matter. There's no strawberry tart, and I love strawberry tarts. Don't really know why I chose that, but I don't know. I just felt like it. A couple days ago I was thinking about watching it. Like, oh, I should watch that soon. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I don't really know. Um, got to find the plates. I'll be honest, I cobbled that up. <laughs> it was very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, hi. Um, this is uh the next Saturday after, um, and I didn't make an outro, so I thought I'd make one now. Um, so that was a really nice trip. After that, it just kind of ended. I had to go and get my brother and my mum from downstairs and unlock everything, and then we went back. And then we had a day or two before we left. And I'm back in England now. And um, results day was on Thursday. <laughs> so um, I want to study French and economics at Warwick University. And because of long COVID, grade things very hard. I got long COVID. I was diagnosed during A levels. So I didn't really know what was happening before A levels. And I had so much fatigue in, I think it was like February, March, that I really struggled to even do things like. And so um, I'm really, really proud of myself because I know this year obviously the, the grades got harder and um, I actually got above the offer. Um, and yes, I'm actually heading off to my dream university. Um, now, like I said, I don't know if I can even go this year because of how I am and I still have not had any kind of appointments with any COVID clinics. I'm supposed to be on the list. I haven't even had my chest x-ray because they messed up my paperwork. So I don't really know if I'm going to go this year or not. And I'm in touch with well-being. I should be getting an answer um, tomorrow. Actually, I think it's Sunday. Right, okay, well. Um, and yeah, so I'm just trying to get excited about that. And even if I don't go this year, that's completely fine because I got in and it was completely my own merit. And I really did completely my best and studied hours a day to get the grades which were like I got an A in history and I thought I wouldn't even get a B so I'm really happy with that um my coursework didn't go very well and I had to submit it was during the period when I was really ill so I'm very very happy I'm trying not to yeah overthink it but I'm, I'm very happy with myself so I hope this is a good way to end the video and I will definitely be showing you more this video took quite a lot of time to edit and it made me learn a lot about myself First of all, I speak very fast and completely like illegible sometimes, and that I need to slow down and I also need to pick my thoughts a bit better because I've had to cut out. 
20 minutes because I sat there talking about Sally Rooney books, um, what are my favourite bands and songs, and I mean if you're interested in that, I, I can always make videos like that, but it was just not really set up like that, it was more of a vlog, so I don't know why I sat there being like, I'm going to name all my favourite books, all my favourite artists, and everything about me, <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you like this, um, I feel like this is quite a good one, probably quite interesting, and I will definitely be showing you through the university process showing you everything and even if I don't go I'll be doing something um because I've been really liking this and it took me some time to edit it because I was feeling kind of lazy because it took me to like two or three days to even undo my suitcase but I'm my room's clearing up right now it's not too bad um but yeah if you have long covid or if you're you have any kind of chronic illness now going to university or just at any age please comment down below because this is why I made the channel and I hope you like